Hello everyone, I am Georgine De Rosas and I will be reporting about CSR and leadership. So under this topic is all about the introduction, why corporate leaders need CSR. Nowadays leaders CSR rules, cons and pros, and best practices. Let's first define the introduction. So leadership by definition is the art of motivating a group of people to act towards achieving a common goal. It gets formed by inherent acquisitive and contingency. So the characteristics of a leader is to earn the respect of others, knowledgeable, capable, fairness, excellent communicator, high expectations, ambitious and energetic, intelligent and confident. So what is social responsibility? Social responsibility is an ethical framework and suggests that an entity, be it an organization or individual, has an obligation to act for the benefit of society at large. Social responsibility is a duty every individual has to perform so as to maintain a balance between the economy and the ecosystem. So these are the famous quotes from famous authors that says about social responsibility. Ali Riza Salehi Nijad said, he who knows more is more responsible. And also Alan Alda said, we're highly social animals. I'm told by scientists that what makes us different from other animals is an acute social awareness, which is what has made us so successful. And lastly, Robert Mikey said, a world full of lies and liars, an honest work of art is always an art of social responsibility. The traditional view of CSR, said by Milton Friedman, the prime purpose of the business was profit maximization. The business of business is business. It is argued that the profit earned by business belongs exclusively to the shareholders of the business and this product can be diverted to any other social purpose. Now what is CSR nowadays? Corporate social responsibility is defined as the voluntary activities undertaken by a company to operate activities towards social be society benefits and development in a sustainable manner. CSR is usually part of PR or the public relation and marketing activities nowadays. It is company ethical behavior. In other words, essentially, it is about how business take into account the economy, social and environmental impact of the way in which it operates. It could be different forms such as engaging directly with local communities, identifying their basic needs, and integrating their needs with business goals and strategic needs or the intent. So some definition of CSR is by world leading entities are as follows. EU or the European Commission defined CSR as a concept whereby companies integrate social and environmental concerns in their business operations and in their interaction with their stakeholders on a voluntary basis. Marlon Baker, a former politician, Define CSR as about how companies manage the business processes to produce an overall positive impact in society. The World Business Council for Sustainable Development, or WBCSD, also defined corporate social responsibility as the continuing commitment by business to behave ethically and contribute to economic development while improving the quality of life of the workforce and their families as well as of the local community and society at large. So there's the big question. Why leaders need CSR? So before we answer that question, we already defined the characteristics of a leader. So let's, per, let's discuss about the six core characteristics of CSR. CSR is the voluntary, so six core, core characteristics of CSR is voluntary, via and philanthropy, practices and values, 
managing externalities, multiple stakeholders orientation, social and economic alignment. Now, these are the benefits of CSR. So the benefits are this increase the customer retention and prevention, winning new businesses and profits, enhance relationship with the stakeholders and government, attracting and maintaining an enhanced workforce, media interest, improve public image and critic management, differentiating yourself from the competitor. Of course, you are more higher than the others when you are using the CSR or you are with the CSR enhancing your influence in the industry and saving money on energy and operating costs. Now let's proceed with the corporate leaders and CSR models. Let's proceed with cons and pros. The CSR cons are the violation of profit maximization in short term, dilution of purpose, costs, too much power, social actions can be measured, lack of skills because of large scope problems, lack of accountability, increase in the prices of products or services, who would identify the social issue or problem, conflict of interests, how do CEOs decide what is in the best interest of the society? And there's the cons, there's always a pro. Public expectations, so these are the pro, the public expectations, long run profits, of course, ethical obligation, public image, better environment, harmonious and healthy relations with the society. It also is a one win situation and much more. So these are the best practices that companies who are using CSR. So these are the best practices, corporate leader requirements and infra. So to identify social problems and issues properly, to select problems and issues which are aligned with corporate principles, study the social problem deep enough, including its possible side effects, to set a feasible, viable, and measurable goal to use social human resources and engage them through right interaction on problem solving. Build a long lasting relationship with the community through the activity retain, retain the community core values. The impact of the CSR needs to be assessed. Reporting the impact, create community and media awareness. So these are the companies that use practices of C that practices CSR. So the IBM UK, for inventing education partnership program interaction and sharing of knowledge through a book-based technology. So the Learning Village software. So they made a Learning Village software, culture of openness and sharing of good practices. Avon, so Avon also used. The practices of oh, practice even also practice CSR. So, a partnership with Breakthrough Breast Cancer and its Breast Cancer Crusade has raised over 10 million pounds since its launch 12 years ago. The TOI's led Indian company campaign for the contribution towards educating the poor. So, these are the few and famous companies that use and that practices the CSR and is now gaining from it and are successful. So that would be all my report. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.